What's up, everybody? It's Randy coming back at you with another beer review. Um, today, I get a chance to drink another beer from Maine, from Bissell Brothers. I had a buddy of mine who uh, had a friend of his who made a run up to Maine. And he came back and um, blessed me with with this can as an extra. I can, I think it was canned on maybe like 826 or something like that. So right a little bit um, under, under a month old. And this is Bissell Brothers, nothing gold. This is a, I'm, I'm expecting good things. I've heard nothing but good things about this beer. Um, this is an IPA brewed with Equinox, Citra, and Amarillo. It's actually a double IPA coming in at 8.2% ABV. So I am excited about this. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what the aroma is like. Because Bissell Brothers hasn't done nothing but goodness as far as I'm concerned. These guys are, wow. So, there you go. Classic for the style. Hoos. There's no question. This hoos looks magnificent in this glass. I just want to drink the hoos. So, there you go. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I feel like a broken record. It looks like juice. That's what it always looks like. It looks like like some type of, you know, orange juice or orange drink or uh, some form of pineapple juice or some form of grapefruit juice. All these beers look like juice. And I mean, there's really no other way to describe it. That's just what it looks like. So let me go ahead and get a nose. We can tell I have like a, a little bit under a finger of of like this, you know, nice, soft looking head. Um Heads dissipating kind of quick, so I guess you know that's a that's definitely a function of the ABV at eight and a half. I mean, it's not gone like it's a twelve percent beer, but it's it's dissipating rather quickly. So let me uh, work it up. Um, got some legs for sure. You see that right there? Legs for sure. So yeah, let me work it up and jam my nose in it. Tell you what it smells like. Oh wow. This aroma was, I mean, I didn't even have to get it all the way up to my face to to, to smell it. I, I I just didn't have to. It was it was coming towards me. I want to attack the beer, but the beer is attacking me. That was a sorry swirl. There we go. <sighs> Did I say citra was in here? Because I'm getting a lot of citrus. Yeah. Equinox citrus, Equinox Citra and Amarillo. So I'm getting a lot of citra on here. Citra must have been like like one of the late edition hops for sure. Like straight like um, mandarin oranges. A little bit of grapefruit. Yeah, not like not like navel oranges, but mandarin oranges. Like the little, the little cuties or the little clementines. Very nice, pleasant, sweet orange aroma right there. Yeah, let me go ahead and um, dive into this. I'm excited to taste this. Cheers, everybody. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Okay, so everybody talks about, you know, people talk about Trillium, deservedly so, because Trillium makes fantastic beer. People talk about Treehouse, deservedly so, because Treehouse makes great beer. I talk about Aslan because I love Aslan, the homies. I, I, I go hard for those guys. But this beer right here, this beer right here, this beer can bang with the best. I'm telling you, this is um, holy cow. <laughs> Man, I wanted to make this a quick review, but good night. Good night. So, tons of like sweet, sweet citrus fruits up front. And it just washes like your whole mouth. And then it gives way to like this nice... Um, like citrus is the seam the, the seam. Citrus is the theme throughout. You get bright citrus flavors and then and then like like a little bit of lingering uh citrus bitterness. This, this, this is all citrus. Not all citra, but all citrus. This is a great beer, man. Right at medium, medium minus mouthfeel, but not not like medium minus as in thin, but just medium minus as in like it's, I don't know if, if you've had um, JFK to LAX, 
which is a triple IPA that the Monkish makes. But that beer, it has a ridiculous creamy mouthfeel. Some of Aslan's, but almost all of Aslan's double IPAs and uh, in particular double IPAs um, have like this ridiculous mouthfeel. This one is a little bit, a little bit thinner than say JFK or an Aslan double IPA, which adds to the drinkability of this beer. And at 8.2%, you could like, like you could really like destroy this beer without, without even knowing because it just goes down so easy and the, the flavors totally make you lose track of, of anything that has to do with the, um, you know, with, the, with the alcohol. So this is a fantastic offering from, uh, from Bissell brothers. Those guys, those guys are brewing their tails off, man. So if you get a chance to, to cop some Bissell brothers, do it specifically this, uh, nothing gold dope, dope can, you can see that dope can art right there and, and nothing gold written at the bottom in purple. Yeah, you guys give you a little better shot of it right there. This is a fantastic beer. Um, I don't know if I, I, for me, this, this is four and a half CBN caps. Um, this is a banger. People, I think, you know, I, I said earlier, people kind of get lost on, especially when it comes to New England IPAs, people get lost on the, on the, you know, the Trillium, the Treehouse hype, the Aslan, um, you know, even when it comes to Bissell Brothers, most people are thinking substance, but this nothing gold, it's the best Bissell Brothers beer I've had so far. So there you have it, folks, four and a half CBN caps for the Bissell Brothers, nothing gold, double IPA. Um, coming in at 8.2% with uh, Equinox, Citra, and Amarillo hops. So remember, please, if you like this video, please hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe, comment, and share this video. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace.